Hello my wonderful people, welcome to my channel. You don't know it's your girl Shooks, the queen of recipe. Yes, yes, yes. Today I will be making some Barbie fried chicken. Yes, it is going to be awesome and delicious. So guys, here I had my chicken already seasoned and marinating overnight. I took it from the fridge and allow it to thaw out a bit because you want your chicken to be at room temperature before you fry them. So don't worry about the seasoning. I'll go over the seasoning with you, okay? So what I have in here is just some Maggi all-purpose seasoning. Um, I'm using um, some black pepper, some um, cayenne pepper, garlic and onion salt. I have a little bit of um, Cajun seasoning in here and some chicken seasoning. That's all I have in here, guys. I have some paprika as well, just to give it a little bit of color. And we're going to make our breading. We're also going to season our breading. So we're going to go through that together. But as for seasoning of the chicken, that's all I have on the chicken. So don't worry yourself about the chicken being pre-seasoned, okay? Okay, so for the breading, I am going to do it in this bag. Here I have some all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna put the chicken pieces in the bag and coat them nicely, but we are going to season our flour and make it into a breading. So basically, I'm just going in with the same seasoning that I used on the chicken, okay? So here I'm going in with my garlic and onion salt. And some table salt black pepper, the paprika, my Maggi all-purpose, and I'm just eyeballing this guys, but I'm using about one tablespoon each, and the chicken seasoning, and I'm using this chicken seasoning, you can use any chicken seasoning if you're liking, right, so dear, so what we're going to do now, we're going to Mix this up together, combine everything, make sure everything is nice to combine, and then we're going to put our chicken pieces in there. Okay, so I have my oil in my Dutch pot pre-eating right now because I'm going to fry these in my Dutch pot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the chicken pieces in here. All of them, and I'm just going to combine or coat them nicely in the flour. all of them in there and combine them nicely okay my people so what we're gonna do now to make this very crispy we're gonna because these are the breaded chicken we're gonna dust them off and we're gonna put them in some water so I have this here so I can easily take them out like this and drain them off and we're gonna re-bread them so we're gonna take them back from the water and put them back into the breading and double we're double breading so we can get them nice and crispy okay so that's what we're gonna do you wanna dust off the excess flour put them in the water like that okay okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna put them back drain shake them out put them back into the breading okay and then we're gonna coat them nicely again in the flour and then we're gonna fry them okay so we rebreaded and so you can already see the flake. I'm gonna dust off the excess. See, that's what we were looking for the flakiness. So, we're gonna dust these off and we're gonna drop them in our oil. Make sure your oil is very hot. What you can do, you can reduce the heat after you put all of your chicken in. Okay, so this is our oil. And yes, guys, I had used this oil already. Fried some chicken. I don't throw my oil on the first fry. I use it back again. Here I just have two garlics and can burn a pepper, but I already had burned a pepper the first time around, so the oil still have pepper in there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put in our chicken. See, the oil is nice and hot. You don't wanna add too much pieces because it will reduce the temperature of the oil and then you won't get that crisp. What you can do after a minute or two, you can reduce the temperature, but I'm on high right now in my Dutch pot. So just drop them in, deep fry them, make sure your oil is nice and hot, there you go guys, alright, okay guys, so we're going to turn over our chicken now, 
we can already we can always turn them again because we want them to have a nice color but you don't want them to be too too dark because remember we are going to put these in the oven with our barbecue sauce because we are doing barbecue fries okay so we're just going to turn these over and allow the other side to fry but look how lovely they are so far crispy and nice and this is also how you do your crispy fried chicken as well yes if you want to do your crispy fried chicken without barbie fry this is the same method same method of doing crispy fried chicken the only difference is you're gonna fry them more longer and you won't be adding any barbecue sauce or putting them in the oven I can do a separate video, let me, get, let me know what you guys think, I'm going to do a separate video and how to prepare the best crispy fried chicken. Okay guys, so I took the first set of chicken out, I am going to fry the second set, but basically this is the fried chicken and they are looking lovely, you gotta admit, yes, you can't eat them just like this you know guys, but I'm doing barbie fry. If you not, if you want to eat them just like this, feel free, go ahead. But we're gonna add our barbecue sauce on top of this and put them in our oven. Okay guys, so see our chickens, they're fried nicely and ready, yes. So what we're gonna do to make the barbecue sauce, I'm gonna be using some ketchup. And we're just gonna make enough so we can coat our chicken properly, okay? So I'm using some ketchup and I'm also going to be using some Diana sauce. I'm using the original. You can use the the, um, the rib, the one for the rib or as well, but I love using the original for chicken. So I'm going in with some Diana sauce and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar and I'm going to add some water. So if you want this to be spicy bar barbie fry, what you can do, you can add some hot sauce to this, okay? Or some blended hot pepper. That's how you get your spicy barbie fry. So after you combine everything nicely like so, you're just going to now um, put all of your chicken and you want to coat them nicely in the barbecue sauce, just like this. See how lovely these chickens are looking, guys? Yes. So we're just going to coat them nicely. And we're just going to top off the excess sauce. And we're going to put them back on our grill, okay? Okay, so there it is, guys. Everything is nicely coated. So we're going to just pop this in our oven on the grill. Just like so. I have a cookie sheet underneath or you, um, you can use... Um, actually this is the oven sheet so I have that underneath my grill and this is how I will be placing it into our oven and I'm pre and I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees you can preheat it 400 to 450 um, you don't need much baking on these but you just want to make sure that the sauce is a little bit thick up as we call it on the chicken and what you're gonna do with this? No, you don't throw this away. You add a little bit of water to this. I can add some more ketchup or some more barbecue sauce. Cut up an onion in this, put it in a pot, and squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in this, and you're gonna make a beautiful sauce, okay? Yes, yeah, so let's put this in the oven. Okay, 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 here it is, here it is, guys. Our delicious barbie fried chicken. They are ready. Just pull them from the oven and I'm going to plate this up. I am going to plate this up. This is looking so good. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscription button if you're new to my channel. Turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, God bless you all.